Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to everyone. My name is Amos Asimwe from the Alliance of Biovast and Seat Uganda, and I will be presenting on the development of an ontology for sensory descriptors for yam food products. And for this presentation, specifically, we shall be looking at boiled yam and pounded yam. So I request for your attention. So the presentation outline is as follows. We shall have an introduction. We shall look at the sensory traits from trained panels formatted for the ontology, methods used to extract concepts. Then we shall look at uh, how you get a, a sensory trait dictionary from a lexicon. We shall look at the resulting variables and uh, an example of boiled yam. We shall look at the uh, resulting sensory trait dictionary and an example of boiled yam and uh, the current integration into the crop ontology and the contributors to this work. As part of the introduction, the RRTB food project aims to provide data required by breeders to understand the preferences of each market segment and make this data storable into breed bases. And to achieve this, specific ontologies, what we are calling trade dictionaries, that provide harmonization of products, properties assessment or measurements are required and will support the data interpretation across the social groups that I've talked about and provide interoperability in the breed bases. So sensory traits measured by trained panels were extracted to complement the quality trait class of the crop ontology with the objective of integrating it into breed base, like I've earlier stated. So standard operating procedures, what we are calling SOPs, produced by food scientists and validated by the quarry seed laboratory at CIRAD were used. And in this uh, slide, I am showing an example of how these SOPs looks like. Uh, in these SOPs, we have what we call lexicons and the lexicon is a, a table listing attributes classified by type along with their definitions, standard methods of measurement and categorical scales of measurement, zero to 10 for the case of pounded yam and zero to 100 for the case of boiled yam. So from, it is from these uh, lexicons that information that was used to make trade dictionaries was extracted. So, the methods used to extract these concepts are uh, for consistently extracting these elements, composing the variable measured or observed on the food product, we used and adapted the crop ontology trade dictionary template, which is available on the crop ontology website that provides a format for trade description and a nomenclature for variables. And it is this crop ontology that is the resource of breed base. So originally, this template was conceived to describe variety traits and variables for field measurements. Therefore, this template had to be modified and adapted to the measurements made on boiled yam and pounded yam and used to express their sensory data. So as we shall later on see, uh, a lot of changes and adjustments were made in order to capture this information. And uh, in this slide, I am showing you the changes that were made. So each element of the lexicon was mapped to the trait dictionary template and columns were added or modified to include the food product as the main study object and accommodate the format of sensory traits. Like I've said earlier, the original idea of this template was conceived for field measurement. So we had to adjust, modify and add other columns in order to capture this information that was uh, provided by sensory trained panels efficiently. So the resulting variables of boiled yam look like this. So the variables we are created following the crop ontology nomenclature and from this nomenclature, a variable is composed of a trait, the method and the scale. So trait abbreviation, method abbreviation and scale or unit were all brought up together to come up with the variable as we can see in the slide. And these variables are to be used in field books and databases to annotate the measurement value. 
So in this slide, I, I want us to have a look at an extract of the trade dictionary for pounded yam. Uh, from the lexicon in the SOP, you, we came up with uh, this trade dictionary for pounded yam, but also for boiled yam. Uh, we have, uh, as we can see, with trade name, the trade class, the trade description, the methods used to come to extract these traits, and the scales of measurement were all included into this trait dictionary. So, in this slide, I want to show you how the resulting trait dictionary was integrated into the crop ontology. So, the sensor traits from the sensory trained panels were integrated into the crop ontology, and this was done for boiled yam. It is yet to be done for pounded yam. We are still discussing an option to separate these into new section dedicated to food products. Food products, as we can see here, the traits are mixed up. We have traits uh, regarding the raw product, uh, the traits regarding the, the agronomical traits. So we want, we are discussing to to see if we can have a separate section for the food product. And uh, for our information, this information has not been inserted to the breed bases yet, to the breed base, the young breed base yet. So it is still work ongoing. Uh, allow me to thank all the contributors who worked uh, tirelessly to ensure that this trade dictionary is made. And uh, without mentioning the name, we have the, them in this slide. I thank all of them.